Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ladina Strand. I'm a local real estate agent here in beautiful Portage, Washington. Now, if this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything about Kitsap County, well, I do tons and tons of videos, everything you need to know. So make sure you tap that subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the little bell so you're notified every time that I do a new video. Now I get lots and lots of phone calls, emails, texts every single day of people looking to relocate here and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about relocating or moving, make sure you reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, you can even send the Seahawk, however you wanna get a hold of me, I definitely have your back when moving to the Kitsap County area. So I come on here every single week to give you the most up-to-date current information and stats on the real estate market here in Kitsap County. Before I get into that, I just wanna share a couple of stats um, on a more national level, because it definitely reflects what's happening here on a local level. So this week, NIR um, stated that home prices have continued to accelerate in the US. Home prices grew in 96% of its measured markets in the second quarter. The prices for single family homes rose 4.2% annually. So that's what's going on a national level. Let's talk about what's going on on the local level here in Kitsap County. And again, um, I'm gonna cover what's available in select areas throughout Kitsap County. Again, the stats I'm gonna give you are gonna be for single family detached homes. This will not include vacant land, condos, or rentals. And as I always share, if I you know, don't cover a town, city, or community that you're interested in, just comment down below the video here. I would be more than happy to connect with you and give you the additional information. So as you can see here, I do have a map of Kitsap County pulled up here. And again, Kitsap County covers all the way down south in Olala, all the way up to the very, very tip top of beautiful Hansville and everything in between. Um, the approximate population of Kitsap County is about 271,000 people. So it's a pretty good sized county. So this week, we have a total of 371 homes for sale in all of Kitsap County, which is down from 378 the week prior. And this is again for all price ranges. So it's, it's um, a very strong seller's market and it has been for quite some time. Now I have people say, you know, they wanna wait until the market tanks and then they wanna get in. So don't take my word for it, but we're pretty much getting multiple offers on just about everything. Um, there have been 386 homes sold in just the last 30 days in Kitsap County alone. And now, hey, if you're really enjoying these videos and they're helping you with your move out here, can you please hit that like button down below? It really helps my videos out. I'll give you a couple seconds to do that right down below there. And also don't forget to subscribe. So I'm gonna cover um, inventory levels throughout uh, the most popular areas in Kitsap County, starting in the southern part in Port Orchard. So this week in Port Orchard, we have 114 homes for sale. We had 117 the week prior. And again, the median house price for Port Orchard is sitting at 378,000. Moving a little farther north into the Bremerton area, which is becoming again, very popular. We have the Amazon warehouse over in the Bremerton uh, airport area that's being constructed as we speak. And um, so this week we have a total of 81 homes for sale. We had 77 the week before and the median house price is $349,000. Another side note is Bremerton also got their fast ferry system in last year. Port Orchard is scheduled to get it this year. I think due to COVID that may be delayed. However, again, going back to, to Bremerton, you can get on the fast ferry and be in downtown Seattle in a very short period of time. And you can see the different uh, ferry routes here coming from the west side over to the east side. Now let's go ahead and move a little bit farther north into the Silverdale area, which we consider central Kitsap County. And Silverdale, again, has had low inventory numbers for a very long time. We have 16 homes on the market this week. We had 12 the previous week. And the median house price for Silverdale is sitting right now at 440,000. Moving a little bit farther north into the Paulsbo area, which we consider now the North Kitsap County area. My husband and I lived in Paulsbo for 10 years, great little area. And Paulsbo has 36 homes on the market this week. We had 36 homes on the market last week. And the median house price for Paulsbo is sitting at $475,000. So as far as affordability, Bremerton and Port Orchard are gonna be your best choices. And as I shared again, you know, last week, and I just shared a minute ago, um, Amazon is uh, constructing their new warehouse over here in Bremerton by the airport. And, you know, I really feel this is gonna create a lot more jobs in our area. I think that house, housing prices are gonna continue to rise. 
And, you know, who knows, maybe some other big companies over here from the east side are going to follow Amazon's lead and come over on to our side and open up businesses. So I think the moral of the story is if you want to buy in Kitsap County, now is definitely the time to do that. Now, as competitive as this market is, if you're a buyer, I'm just going to share that it's paramount that you're working with an agent that knows the contracts inside and out that can draft a very competitive offer for you so that you can compete in this market. Pretty much anything under $500,000, you're guaranteed to be in a uh, multiple offer situation. And I actually did a video a while back on how to win in a multiple offer situation. And you can just click right up above to access that and check out that information. And also, um, if you're a buyer, it's important, I think, if you're looking to relocate, that you work with a local lender, again, that knows the contracts, that knows the market. It just makes the transition go so much more smoothly if you're working with somebody locally. So if you don't have a lender, just let me know. I have some great lenders that I work with, um, you know, continually, and I'd be happy, you know, to recommend to you. And if you're a homeowner that, th that is thinking about selling and sitting on the fence, <laughs> Now is really a really a great time to sell and you know take advantage of that buyer competition. So you want to make sure again you're working with an agent that knows how to properly market your home that can sell it quickly and for top dollar. So if you would like more information on your home's value or what's happening in, in your specific community, again just feel free to reach out to me. You can, you know, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, however you want to get a hold of me. I would be more than happy to walk you through the process and give you the additional information that's going to be specific to your needs. But as always, I hope you liked this video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, you guys. Share the video with a friend. Comment down below. And uh, if you're interested in learning everything and anything that Western Washington has to offer, thank you so much for watching today, you guys. And I will see you all next week.